Wilbur Park for 2014 Central Section Finals. Our Division, four, Division Five champion, Casey Knabelbard, a senior from Manuel High School, running, uh, running roughly 16.01 today. Very cruise relaxed effort. The real news a couple weeks ago at the league finals, 15.09 on this same state meet course. You mentioned you weren't even aware, you didn't have a feel for it basically. There were no clocks in the course, yet you ran really fast. How did, that, how did that race go for you? I felt good. Uh, definitely, I was excited about it. I uh, was able to, you know, get out uh, comfortable. You kind of hit the splits I wanted without really knowing the times. Just kind of, you know, feeling, got a, working on staying controlled and, you know, hammering the parts of the course I need to really be pushed on and then, you know, putting a good effort on. Really. Did you and Coach coming in have an idea you were ready to run that fast? Or was that a bit of a surprise? <laughs> Uh, what he told me before the race was, uh, you know, sit back, don't, uh, don't push it, you know, go for the win the last 100 meters, you got a better kick than him, just, you know, don't worry about the time, and um, I told him, like, I'm rested, I'm ready to go, can I go out there and run fast? He goes, I don't think you can, I, you're not going to run faster than 15, 12, um, you know, I'm sorry, you don't run that, I'm like, coach, can I try, can I go for it? <laughs> And he's like, you can go for it, but you're not going to do it. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to prove you wrong. Wow. So I just, you know, went out there and um, kind of, I had a little bit of that in the back of my head, a little bit, you know, a little bit motivation. So I um, just went out there and, you know, ran hard and proved that I could run fast even by myself. So. Right. Okay. And an indoor state champ uh, in track and then obviously doing really well as country season. You mentioned your freshman year, you did not run cross country officially. Yeah. The story there, you guys did not have a high school team, right? Yeah. Yeah. Wow, stunning. What, uh, I mean, did you ever think of maybe dropping the sport after that or, or, or maybe even hungry to go ahead and come back? You know, um, I never never thought about dropping the sport. I mean, obviously in cross country, there's times where you're like, oh, this hurts, I'm in so much pain, i just been injured. But, you know, there's never been a time where like, oh, I don't want to do it anymore. I, you know, I've had love for the sport since, you know, I started in sixth grade and I wasn't super competitive then. I wasn't really good at it, but um, I, um, <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> that's alright. Um, you know, I've always loved the sport, always wanted to do it. So right. there's nothing that's really deterred my um, passion for the sport. Division five in California. Usually there'll be my, maybe one good runner every year. Sometimes maybe not a super strong runner. This year the division is more loaded than we've ever yeah, seen it in Division sure. five. Obviously yourself, uh, Trevor Reinhardt, Marin Academy, Jack Van Scooter, Flint Ridge Prep, Colin Price, who had a great effort a couple weeks ago. He's from St. Margaret's. We've never had four guys that good same year in Division Five. Have you followed the other individuals? Do you know what's out yeah. there pretty much? Um, I, I like to pay attention to the results quite a bit. It's pretty exciting because I looked uh, the first year I was looking, I think 15-28 uh, was the state meet record for Division Five, right. and um, uh, Trevor ran 15-25 uh, or something right. like that. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, it's it's going down progressively each year. Alan Yoho ran 15:11, right? And I'm like, okay, you know, D5 stepping it up for sure. So everyone's uh, everyone's you know putting in a lot of a lot of effort. Everyone's really running fast. So I love just to contribute to that. Now, Division Five guys sometimes they don't go out. You mentioned the breakthroughs; they've been improving. Uh -huh. Sometimes D5 guys don't go out and seek out top competition. You went to Woodbridge. You were in the big race. Finished way up there. Very strong. You went to Clovis. Mm -hmm. You've gone out against top competition and showed very well. How much has that helped you to go ahead and face, search out top competition? Yeah, I always just try to go into the race just like I got something to prove today. I want to, you know, prove something and I want to show that I can run with the top guys. You know, I may be Division Five, maybe from a really small school, but you know, I could run with Philip Rocha or I could run with you know the top guys in California. So that's right. just kind of going to every race thinking, you know, yeah, I'm the underdog, but I'm going to come out here and show that. I can run too. Right. So. Now last year you had a good season, but you had some injuries. Yeah, definitely. Coach said that you've used this as motivation. You've really, you said you got really serious about running this off season. Yeah, for And sure. really put in the work. Yeah, last season it was, I didn't really put a lot of time. I did, I ran like 70 miles a week over the summer, but I didn't run it very smart. You know, it's give myself an hour to run every day and try to get 10 miles every day. And I was just like, not you know taking the warm ups, cool down, stretching all that stuff seriously. So now I'm focusing on doing the foam rolling and doing all the the necessary stuff to stay healthy. So, what caused you to, to change the mindset? Was it the injuries or something else that made you get serious about it? Um, it's just really I was thinking to myself, you know, if I want to get on a good college team, if I want a scholarship, I have to step my game up. I just can't, you know get hurt and say, oh, next year, it's like, there's no next year. This is my senior year. I have to do it. 
Right. So that's really a big thing is there's not another chance I'll get to run a road bridge. There's no other Clovis Invitational for me. So right. I only get to put on the Emanuel jersey one more time. Right. So there's a lot of um, urgency in my running now. I hear you. Well, you're aware that's very, very good. So before we talk about college as far as what you're looking at and so forth, what primarily is most important to you in a college? Um, there's a lot of aspects that are important. Obviously, you go to college for an education, so I want to major in kinesiology and go into physical therapy. I'm sure <laughs> you hear that a lot from runners, but you know, that's it's an exciting thing for me right. that I want to do. And then um, the environment mm -hmm. is huge. Um, I like training at altitude. Uh, we have a cabin up at Shaver, mm -hmm. and um, frankly, I'm not very fond of the Fresno heat. <laughs> it's kind of hot, so. But, um, you know, um, obviously the coach is a big thing too. You want to have a good relationship with the coach because if you if you don't really, if you're not very fond of the guy that's telling you all your workouts, you're not going to have a very successful season. So right. A lot of things factor. In. So your first visit is next week, yes. correct? Where to? Northern Arizona. All right, excellent. So do the first official and um, it's, I go there the day after nationals, so <laughs> it's going to be exciting to see how they did, how everyone else did. And right, okay, so. after their, their trip to Terre Haute this weekend. Yeah. Uh, for you, as far as what other schools you're looking at right now, I'm, I'm thinking usually it picks up a lot attention-wise right around state meet time. Uh -huh. Hopefully that's the case with you, the way you're, you're, you're looking at. Are you, any, geographically, any the areas, you mentioned altitude. Yeah. Any parts of the country also, or yeah. altitude is a key thing for you? Um, Really, I mean, I'm not limiting it to uh, schools in a certain conference or region, but um, I'm not looking at a lot of very far schools away. Most schools in the West Coast, um, schools in the West Coast Conference, schools, Pac-12, Mountain Region, West Region, you know, that, right. that kind of thing. So. Big goal for state? Oh, yeah. Big goals for state. What's you the biggest have. one? What, what, what are you, if you can share those, what's really important to you at state? Um, like I said, I kind of just want to prove that I can run with everyone. I don't want to say like, oh, I'm going to go out there and run the fastest time of the day, or I'm going to go out there and break 15, but I want to run to my potential. And if I run to my very best potential on a good day, I believe I can go pretty quick. So Excellent. <laughs> that's the goal. All right, again, already 1509 this year here at Woodward Park. Today wins easy about 1601 in the Division 5 race at the Central Section Championships. Casey Knabelbard from Emmanuel High School.